It's already getting a little chippy between Casey and Cincy. A lot of back and forth. Some of the Cincy players are now calling Arrowhead Burrowhead. Uh, Travis Kelsey said, keep chirping. It's just uh, locker room material for us. Uh, this game is going to be a lot of fun to watch. They've earned the right, right? I mean, three in a row, and they've all been big games. So, yeah. I mean, if there's any team that's able to do that, it's certainly Cincy. Yeah. That being said, you could make the argument all three of those games were coin flips that turned up Cincy side. So, mm -hmm. uh, we'll see what happens this weekend. But certainly, when we look at the four teams still standing, since he's got the weakest defense of the bunch, 5.4 yards per play allowed. And that's the defensive metric that I pay attention to. Not about how many yards per game they give up, it's how many yards per play they give up, since he's the weakest of the four teams still standing. And of course, with that said, Joe Burrow has been phenomenal in the postseason. Considering uh, con uh, going back to his days at LSU, 7 and 1 against the spread, his last eight tries in the biggest stages games of them all yeah and I think there's so many unknowns in this game with it we've seen that with the line jump and the fence a couple mm -hmm. of times it's all about Mahomes' ankle it's also how much you put into recency bias I mean this Cincinnati team last week able to run the ball effectively stay ahead of the chains and do things up at Buffalo that I'm not sure a lot of people thought they'd be able to do so there's a lot of these things how much do we weigh the information right. we just saw and since he did not play well against Baltimore could have easily lost that game so from week to week a big difference sure but something's been consistent for KC this year they haven't covered point spreads at home all year long. We're talking about one, seven, and one against the spread. When you have one point spread covered for the entire season, <laughs> that's meaningful. And it also means you don't have much of a betting yeah. bandwagon on that field. Um, Zach Taylor, as we mentioned, three and zero oh straight up and against the spread against Andy Reid. Rock and talking Tigers, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But all, Tigers. all three of those wins again coming by exactly a field goal, and you can make an argument that all three of them could have gone either way. Yeah, and new sports gamblers in the state of Kansas not benefiting from this great team, and they're, they're learning a right. tough lesson. Right.